All right, one last wonderful thing about the cross product, of which there are many wonderful things, is that the cross product gives us the equation of a plane, of a plane. So what I want to do is just imagine you've got a plane. So you've got a flat thing like this. This plane can be defined in a very nice, simple way by its normal vector. Wherever I slide my pen around here, it is normal to every point on the plane, as long as the wind doesn't blow it. When you've got a flat surface, the normal vector is perpendicular to every other vector that's in the plane. So here's how you should think of a plane. A plane is a collection of vectors perpendicular to a given normal. So what you're going to do is we're going to give you several points that are in a plane, and we're going to ask you to figure out the equation that defines all the points in the plane. So let's do an example of that. I'll make up some random points. Let's say A is 2, negative 3, 0. B is 5, 0, 1. And C is 1, 1, 7. Doesn't matter. I just threw random points down. Maybe something will come up nasty. Maybe it'll come up nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate vector AB. Vector AB goes up 3, up 3, up 1. Then I could calculate either vector BC or vector AC. It doesn't matter. I'm going to calculate vector BC. BC goes down 4, up 1, up 6. AB and BC are two vectors that lay, lie in the plane. So I want to find the vector that's normal to them. So I do the cross product. So AB cross BC is IJK, the determinant, 331, negative 416. So I times 3 times 6 minus 1 times 1 minus J times... Uh, did I do that right? Yes, I did. Okay. J times 3 times 6 minus negative 4 times 1 plus K times 3 times 1 minus negative 4 times 3. So that gives me the vector 17, negative 22, and 15. So this is my normal vector. So then all of the vectors in the plane are going to dot with the normal vector to equal zero because they're all normal to it. So the vectors in the plane dotted with the normal vector are all going to equal zero. Okay, so what I can do then is use a point to write all the vectors in the plane. So what I can do is say all the vectors in the plane are going to be, I've got a point of two, I can use any one of my points, I'll just use A. So x minus 2, y plus 3, z minus 0, dotted with 17, negative 22, and 15 should equal 0, which yields this equation, 17, x minus 2, minus 22, y plus 3, plus 15, z equals 0. I'm going to pause and just double check my notes. Maybe I messed up a sign here. Just give me a second.
Yeah, so I just wanted to double check uh, this fact here that when I took my point A, I reversed it to be minus two plus three and minus zero. And that's correct. Your book and some other authors sometimes show the statement like this, that you can do um, normal vector dotted with P, with a point P equals normal vector dotted with a vector A. I did it as this normal vector with your direction A minus your point P has to equal zero. Those are equivalent definitions. I just second guessed myself there. So this is a nice way to get the equation of a plane. You can always also distribute everything out to obtain 17x minus 22y plus 15z equals, let's see, 17 times 2 is 34, 22 times 3 is 66, 34 and 66 makes 100, 34 and 66, so equals 100. And this, you can double check that this actually contains all the points. If you take point A, you should see that 2 times 17 minus 22 times negative 3 plus 15 times 0 equals 100. And if I did it right, the other ones work as well. Um, so if I take point B, 17 times 5 is 85, 0, and then 15 times 1 is 15. That adds up to 100. And on the last one, 17 times 1 negative 22 times 1, and then 15 times 7 is 105, and that also works out. So the uh, equation of the plane, when you plug your points into it, should be correct. Just like when we had equations of lines, you can double check your answer by plugging the points into the line. So it's that same sort of concept here. So that is one great application of the cross product giving us the normal vector, which then defines the equation of the plane containing any given original points. So please comment, ask questions. I know this is a lot.